In 2002, the NFL expanded to 32 teams with the addition of the Houston Texans. With this, they changed from six divisions to eight divisions, which have four that we all know of today. Along with this came the creation of the four division winners and two wildcard teams playoff format, which stayed until 2020 when an additional wildcard team was added. Today, we will be adding the 2002 rosters to Madden 23 and watching them duke it out in classic Madden imperialism. I'm sure you all know how this works, but I'm going to explain it for those who don't. We will spin the wheel to determine which team will be attacking. We will then spin an arrow to determine which way they will be attacking. If the team lands on an open space, they may give a player on their team one overall rating boost. If two teams play, the losing team will give up their territory and a player to the other team. This will continue until there's only one team left standing and that team will be declared the winner. And just like that, we're off for the first spin of the video and it looks like it's going to roll the way of the Saints and they're going to be headed into Houston, brand new franchise, Houston Texans, and he, no chalk here. Houston is just going to get routed in their own stadium, and they're going to actually take Gary Walker from Houston here. Going to take over that southern eastern part of Texas, and Houston expands their territory. So this is what it's looking like now. Next game, game two, and it looks like we're going to have the Raiders. Remember, in 2002, the Raiders were one of the Super Bowl winning teams, and they're going to go up north and take over Oregon, and they're going to improve Tim Brown, their secondary receiver behind the great Jerry Rice. Next spin, we've got the Falcons, and the Falcons are going to be headed south into Jacksonville. Now, this team has Michael Vick as Jacksonville. Looks like they're going to get this first down and a lot more here. Atlanta, no timeouts, and Jacksonville's going to take over, and they're going to claim a player along with Georgia. They're going to end up taking Michael Vick to improve that quarterback slot. And the next team is going to be the Dolphins. Now the Dolphins are surrounded by Tampa Bay, so that's who they're going to play. And Miami down by seven with a minute and a half left, looking to get something going. As you see now, second and ten after that dropped pass. Looking for anything, and that is almost picked off. Jay Fiedler almost gets picked off. Very, very lucky not to have. And he ends up throwing it right over to mi the middle to my current team's GM, uh, or my favorite team's GM, John Lynch. And the Miami's just going to get blown out by the other Super Bowl winning team there. And they're going to take over Patrick Sertain the first, get that cornerback that they desperately not really need, but add to that very good defense. And the Broncos are going to be next. They're going to take over Wyoming, and they're going to improve Brian Greasy, who needs some help there at quarterback next up it looks like we have the giants and they're going to be headed up north to play against buffalo buffalo down by five here and they're going to dish it down to their running back drew bledsoe remember this is drew bledsoe's time after tom brady uh took over on the patriots and they're going to be down by five second and seven 50 seconds left from just about midfield now third and three very short pass but it works drew bledsoe and he ends up throwing it right over the middle gets that turnover and the giants end up taking the great state of new york and they end up taking eric molds here get a very good receiver in return as once again we're gonna get jacksonville jacksonville is gonna be headed in what looks like it's south so they're gonna go against tampa bay and they're just gonna beat tampa bay here actually defeating the super bowl winning team of that year big big upset they're gonna take Derek brooks and the chargers are gonna be oh no looks like we're gonna have three teams here that are just gonna take over a bunch of territories and we're going to improve Curtis Conway, John Wade, and Andre Dyson. Each one of these are going to get their own little individual areas. And it looks like the Giants are going to be playing the Jets. And they're going to get routed. The Jets are going to lose that territory. They're going to own New Jersey. And they're going to take over Randy Thomas. Next up here, we have the Vikings. Now, the Vikings are going to be headed into Iowa. They're going to get to improve their corner, Corey Chavis. And the 
looks like the Saints are going to be up once again, and they're going to be going into Tennessee, and they're going to lose to the Steve McNair, rest in peace to Steve McNair, Titans, who were just in the Super Bowl a couple years earlier than that. They're going to take over Joe Horn to improve the wide receiver room there, and the Bengals are going to be up next. Bengals going to go in northeast, going to go into Cleveland. Cleveland down by seven. Remember, Cleveland, I believe that this was the last year that Cleveland made the playoffs before going on a huge drought. And they're going to get sacked there, minus one. He's going to find his wide receiver open over the middle for first down, 26 yards left. He's going to find another open receiver, same open receiver, down to the eight for 18 yards going to play action it and he's going to end up throwing an interception to Cincinnati unfortunately Cleveland's going to lose and I believe the Bengals are really really bad that you're like 2 and 14 or something like that so that's a big big upset as it looks like next we're going to have the Peyton Manning led Colts they're going to be headed north and they're going to go into Detroit and completely destroy the Lions, 42-3. to They're going to take over all of the state of Michigan. And from the Lions, they're going to end up taking Ray Brown at right guard to improve their line. Next up, it looks like we're going to have the Bears. Let's see what they've got. They're going to go down to the southwest, and the Rams are going to destroy them. This is the former, keyword former former greatest show on turf by the way they really really fell off after this and they're just going to beat the ram beat the bears sorry they're going to take over brian erlacher one of the best linebackers that i've ever gotten to see play the raiders looks like it's going to be next and they're going to play the 49ers no shock here my 49ers with jeff garcia the first jersey i ever owned by the way uh they get absolutely destroyed and the Raiders take over most of California and Terrell Owens to help improve their wide receiver room. The Commanders, or at that time the Washington Redskins, are next. They're going to be going and playing against Baltimore. Baltimore going to be up 17-7, to and with this first down, they're going to take the dub, and it looks like they're going to control the state of Maryland, and they're going to take my favorite corner, one of my favorite players of all time, Champ Bailey. Champ Bailey, such a good player. And it looks like the Bengals are going to be next. Third and seven now for Indianapolis, up 42 to 35. Two minutes to go. Peyton Manning ends up finding his receiver wide open, and he defeats the Bengals, taking over that entire state of Ohio. And they take Willie Anderson to once again improve their offensive line. And just like that, the Colts get selected once again, and they end up getting, I believe it was a free territory. They're going to improve their line. The Chiefs are going to get a free territory. They're going to improve a player, and the Colts are going to end up coming up once again. They're going to go east, and it looks like it just about went into Pittsburgh territory. Peyton Manning tied with one minute left on his own 25-yard line. Second and two now with 48 seconds left. Three timeouts, by the way. Haven't used a single timeout. He finds his receiver wide open, and that's going to get them into field goal range. Now all they've got to do is run the ball, get the ball straight in the middle, and look at Edron James pounding that rock for a first down. Second and five on the five now with 22 seconds left. They don't really have to do anything here. They just have to hand it off. And look at that. He centers the ball now on the one-yard line. Two seconds left, and the Colts are going to beat the Steelers at the very end of the game. They're going to take over the western half of Pennsylvania, and they're going to claim some more territory, taking Joey Porter, whose son was just drafted by the the same team, the Steelers, and the Vikings are going to be up next. They're going to be going northeast into Green Bay. Green Bay going to get routed i believe this was the year that brett Favre won the mvp and they're going to fall to the dante cold pepper led vikings haven't heard that name in a while i bet vikings going to take over the great state of wisconsin where my dad's from and take darren sharper 
from the Packers. The Chargers are going to be up next. They're going to be headed north. They're going to go against the Raiders. Raiders down by four with a minute 20 left. Rich Gannon. Actually, Rich Gannon was the MVP, now that I remember. No, made the Super Bowl. Rich Gannon MVP. Going, dropping the uh, dropping the pass to his receiver. First and 10 now with fifth, on the 15, 20 seconds left. And he finds his receiver in the back of the end zone, Owens. What a dot by Owens. Chargers now looking for anything. And he's just going to get sacked, and that's going to be it. The Raiders are going to take over all of Nevada and the rest of California, now owning a large chunk of territory. And they're going to take Junior Seau, one of the best players of all time. Panthers are going to be up next. They're going to be getting a territory and improving their putrid quarterback. Try and just get him up to improve. And next, it would, looks like we got the Vikings once again. Down by one against the Colts. A minute 12 left. Dante Culpepper looking for anything. And great defense there by the Colts cornerback. Second and 10 now. A minute 10 seconds left. Dante Culpepper finds his receiver and he just drops it wide open. No pressure or anything. And now they are crumbling. Fourth and 10 after a quick pass and incompletion. Now he's going to go deep. And the Colts are going to play great defense, and they're going to take over all of the Vikings' territory, completely owning that northeastern part, and going to take Randy Moss. Not a bad player to take in that instance. And we're going to have a couple more teams that are going to be taking over some territories here, such as the Ravens, such as the Panthers. Uh, sorry. The, Raven, uh, the Panthers face the Ravens. Panthers up by 7. Ravens get sacked there. 3rd and 15 now down by 7. And it looks like they're going to be headed. They're going to throw it. And the Panthers are going to intercept the ball. Going to run it back. And it's not going to matter. They're going to take over all of the great state of Maryland. And they're going to take Champ Bailey from the Ravens. Take that corner. The Titans are going to be up next, and they're going to be headed into Dallas to face the Cowboys. Dallas down by 6 with 25 seconds left, 3rd and 10. He's going to be throwing it deep. He's going to end up catching it right on the 3-yard line. First and goal for Dallas. Going to play action it, fake it, find the back of the end zone. Now, Tennessee down by 1 with 5 seconds left, 1st and 10. Steve Air McNair airing it out. Finding nobody, and Dallas is going to end up taking Tennessee's territory, and they're going to take Steve McNair, improve their quarterback room. Raiders are going to be up next. They're going to take Idaho, and they're going to improve their tight end, which was by far their worst uh, rating in there. Chiefs are going to be up next. They're going to be playing the Broncos, and they're going to defeat the Broncos with help from Trent Green and obviously Priest Holmes, two really great players, and they're going to take Delta O'Neal to help their team out. Raiders, once again, up next. They've been called upon so many times, and the Raiders are going to end up beating the Cardinals 35-2, to just barely getting a safety. Cardinals were not a great team at this time by any means, and they're going to take Leonard Davis and move him to left tackle. Panthers are going to be up next. Panthers are going to go down east, and they're going to go into Jacksonville. Mike Vick here. Look at Mike Vick running, scrambling, finding open room. Zip, zap, zoop, and he's gone for a touchdown, 35-24. to Jacksonville takes over the Panthers' territory, and they take now Champ Bailey. Champ Bailey being passed around, but he's such a great player, you cannot fault them for doing so. Rams are going to be up next, and they're going to go play Dallas. And the Rams are going to, St. Louis Rams, I might add, are going to beat Dallas. And they're going to be taking over all that territory, had to change the color, and they're going to take Darren Woodson from 
the Cowboys. Seahawks are up next, and they're surrounded by the Raiders. They have no choice but to play the Raiders, and no shock here. They're going to get beaten by the Super Bowl qualifying Raiders. So that Washington is going to turn silver, and they're going to take Walter Jones, move him to left tackle, move their the other player that they had got, I can't remember who it was, over somewhere else on the line. And now the Giants are going to play the Colts. Peyton Manning down by three with 34 seconds left, trying to get something going. He ends up finding his receiver in field goal range and gives his kicker an opportunity to send it to overtime. Now, we had two back-to-back drives here. Colts failed, and then the Giants failed here to convert on fourth di- or third down, making it a fourth down. And that gave the Colts the ball right back on the 43-yard line. Peyton Manning gets another opportunity. He finds his receiver. I believe that's a young Reggie Wayne. Finds him in field goal territory. And the Colts are going to end up winning this and taking over the Giants' territory. Claiming the state of New York and New Jersey and taking Michael Strahan in the process. Now, we still have a couple teams that haven't been called on, but the Jaguars have definitely been called on. They're going to be going north, and it's blocking that area, but they went into St. Louis territory. Jacksonville ends up winning that game. They route the Rams, and they take Brian Urlacher, helping that defense, and they get to go again. So they're going to be headed up northeast into Colts territory. Peyton Manning beats them by seven, and Peyton Manning, the Colts looking great here. They're going to take Champ Bailey next improve their team and the Raiders once again a lot of the some of these teams have been called on quite a number of times and the Raiders big upset big shock here the Raiders are gonna go and get beat by Kansas City Kansas City is gonna claim that territory on the western coast they're gonna take Rod Woodson from the Raiders and now we're down to our final four teams as you see the Eagles are up next and they're surrounded by Indianapolis They're going to actually end up losing by 8 to Indianapolis. And now we're down to 3. They're going to take Brian Dawkins as a result. And the Colts, who have the Patriots to the east and the Chiefs to the west, they're going to go play the Chiefs, and the Colts are going to get manhandled. After doing so great all video, they're just going to lose this game to the Chiefs. And not exactly what I I expected from this video, We have a Chiefs and Patriots final. Chiefs are going to take Marvin Harrison. And the Chiefs are going to be headed into Foxborough to play against Tom Brady. And who else to win this video but the man, the myth, the goat, Tom Brady. And there you have it, folks. Tom Brady and the New England Patriots are your winners of Madden 2002 Imperialism. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment if you're new here. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.